stay? <laughs> well, I saw on the news last night, they say to stay in shape for their concerts, Mick Jagger likes to do karate. Uh -oh. That's like a big thing. That's, that's very smart. Older singers using karate to stay in shape. Hey, look what he did for Elvis. Man. Seriously. <laughs> I will never watch again, I think. <laughs> Uh-oh, here's a big problem. Oh, boy, gosh. You know that uh, Playboy with the photo of Frank Gifford's friend, Suzanne Johnson? You know, remember the one he flew the friendly thighs with? You remember that? <laughs> remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. well, anyway, the flight attendant he had the little affair with, uh, it's in, she's in Playboy this month. It's on the news stats today. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, how is Kathy Lee going to react to that? You know, this would be the first time Frank's the one showing off pictures of his babies. Hey, fellas, take a look at these babies here. They got a little to us. So we decided to do something nice for the people of Burbank. You know, there's an old saying that the streets of Burbank are paved with asphalt. Have you heard that, Kev? I haven't heard that, oh, Jay. And I, I don't know whether it's true or not. It's one of those things you hear. But what we're going to do is give some valuable gifts to people driving by the NBC studio. Ellen, can we put on the camera outside our studio? Now, there's our own Ed Hall right outside. Ed, can you hear me? Now, Ed, you're out there on Alameda Avenue. That's the Street of Dreams here in Burbank. Let's yeah. uh, show people. I can't think of a more exciting place to be. There's the mobile station. That's the mobile station that Sean Connery once drove by. Do you know that? Very <laughs> one, huh? And, of course, there's the famous Acapulco restaurant. You know, there's a city in Mexico named after that very... very <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that, Jay. You oh, know, yes? yes? Yeah, yes. Burbank is just full of surprises. Full of surprises. Yeah. Anyway, uh, why don't you tell everyone what you have to give away? Jay, I have a whole bunch of John Tesh CDs. John Tesh CDs, that's, that's the best we can do, Ed? Well, you know, with all the NBC cutbacks. And these are four for a dollar, so we did pretty well. Okay, now I want to stress. Now, now there are rules. We, you, we can't just give away the CDs. Oh, no, 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 Jay. A actually, every person that stops has to answer a John Tesh trivia question. All right, all right. Your ticket includes daily performances by Charlie Pride, Bureau Holland, Williams and Ree, and Myron Florin, plus great food, crafts, and entertainment. Northwest Airlines. Step out in traffic. I don't look stupid, do I? No, no, no you look fine, Ed. Free, I try it's free. and stop. It's. What's going on? I said no thanks. Ed, what are you doing? It's trying. There's no cars. Ed, that's like the busiest street in Burbank. Now, no, get out in the tonight. middle of the road. Lie down in the middle of the road. Shut on the hit CBS medical drama, Chicago Hope. Here's the always enjoyable Adam Arkin. Adam. <laughs> and you're not being aggressive enough. To avoid this. Free. It's free. How many cars have passed? Ellen, how free many cars CDs. have passed by so far? John seven, no, seven cars. Okay. That woman sped up. <laughs> it's free. Ed, stop. Hear the magic of John. T it's free. <laughs> well, mm. look, look, Ed. You, look, you keep trying while I tell people who's on the show tonight. All right. All right you, I'm going to tell them who's on the show, and I have the questions ready for when the person stops. All right. Terrific show tonight. My first guest is starring in a new series called Michael Hayes. Just a terrific actor, David Caruso. David Caruso. <laughs> funny comedian, a terrific actress, Janine Garofalo. Janine Garofalo. And one of my favorite things, we brought some young California kids from area schools. They have their inventions. These are prize-winning inventions these little kids have made, and we're going to check in with them in just a little bit, too. Let's go back to Ed. Ed, have you got anybody? What are you doing? There's a car. Good. Good for you, Ed. Good. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Kathy Fitzsimmons. Oh, hi, Kathy. This is Jay Leno. How are you? He's coming from the speaker over there. Oh. Seemed to have frightened her. Hi, Jay. Hi, Kathy. Do you want us to cover your face like they do on cops? Can we put you on the air? Put me on the air. Okay, good. You're on the air. Okay, listen. How would you like a free John Tesh CD, huh? Sure. Okay, well, just answer this John Tesh uh, trivia question, okay? Okay. All righty. Let's see. Uh, here we go. At the end of a John Tesh concert, the audience always screams, A... Encore, B, Bravo, C, Refund. A. A. That's wrong. That means you get two John Tesh CDs. Two John Tesh CDs. There you are. There you go. Thank you. All right, Ed. Ed, 
you stay out there. I believe I saw Connie Selica, John's wife, stop drive by. Really? Yeah. Great. Yeah. All right, you stay out there. We will check in with you and see how many more people. How many are we up to now, by the way? How many people have passed on the John Tesh CD? 18 people have passed. All right, we'll be right back. 19. It's free. Be right back right after this with Why I Love Autumn. Kevin Eubanks and the Tonight Show Band. <laughs> After years of perfecting silence, we're ready to make some noise. So she finds this little pencil with a smiley face on it. And she says, I think LL would like this. Oh, sure. Yeah. And, and she goes up, and there, there's a, LL's got his entourage around him, so she makes his way through LL's posse, and she walks up to him <laughs> and says, LL, I, I just, I'd really like you to have this. And yeah. she, she musters up her courage, gives him the pencil, and he, he looks at me and he goes, Oh, thank you very much. That's very nice. I really like smiley faces. <laughs> well, that's cute, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's very nice. So it was a big day for her, despite the fact that Dad was in a dress. It was a big day for all of us. But I'm sure nothing she hasn't seen around the house. I beg your pardon, sir. Um, I take issue with that. Now, when you when you were your daughter's age, uh, and you're... You were odd, mm -hmm. and, and then other people that were just uh, real complimentary and, and civil. Right. Um, he always told a, a great story about a... Uh, a co-worker of his, uh, he had been in a play with Eli Wallach, and uh, also a fine actor, a great actor. And he, he was, Eli was coming to the theater one night, and this woman comes up to him on the street in New York and says, "You know, oh my goodness, I know who you are. Don't tell me. <laughs> Don't." When I was channel surfing, I literally came upon this. Ah, Janine, Janine, can you hear me? Like she was saying that sort of thing. <laughs> are you watching? Ah, <laughs> and, uh, and so I saw. I was like, oh my God. And No. Lewis. That's your territory. Okay, it's like cool. psychic. You're just watching and hey. I'm just watching and she actually called to me through the screen. I happened to be watching and then she just read me the riot act for a very long time about uh, my choice of outfit. But you're not a gown. Type. Not a gown gal. I can't. No. I shudder to think if I were should I like get a, a Vera Wang gown on and it'd be like total like back fat matri. You know what I mean? Like it'd be like way worse. I think if I wore a gown, it would just yeah. be the worst. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's all right. So you, you make your own personal. You statement. make your own. The personal is political. Yeah. 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 So now, did you fly out just for that and go all back uh, in Europe? And I'm sorry, let me preface this by saying I apologize for telling an airline story. And I apologize. You're married to a flight attendant. Excellent. No disrespect intended. That's okay. I'm no, no taken. Um, <laughs> it literally felt like on this flight home that the entire flight crew was mad at me. I, maybe I'm being paranoid, but it was like, okay, first of all, I get really tired of airlines patting themselves on the back for actually landing on time sometimes. You know what I mean? Like, they keep you delayed for a really long time, and then when they finally let you on the plane, it's like hyper to get you to sit down, and the flight attendant actually said to me, you, in your seat, on the double, on the double. And, uh, and I stood there and went, did you just say on the double to me twice? And then, and then I sat down, and then, you know, hurrah, hurrah at the end, well, we got you here on time. Like, it was like this big deal that the airline had actually gotten there on time. But actually, no, they had gotten there early, but of course, when you're early, the gate, am I shouting? No, no. Oh, no. They, um, I always feel like I'm shouting. Um, the, the gate isn't ready, so it's like when you run to the car when it's yeah. raining out, but the guy with the car keys is like 50 feet behind. It's right. like the yes, same, yes. same concept, you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. I think so. Well, let me ask you about this movie now. This, uh... Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> this movie, The Matchmaker. I, well, I haven't seen it yet because it opens Friday. Yeah, Detroit. I saw it last night. Yeah. I saw it last like night, it? And, yeah. I, and I know it sounds like I'm lying because I actually happened to be in the movie, yeah. but I really did like it, and, and I don't always say that about stuff I do. Like, Are you I'm, pretty self-critical? I'm very self-critical. Yeah. That's why I'm so thin-skinned with criticism because yeah. it's totally the straw that breaks my camel's back when people, because it's just like too much when people criticize Yeah. Me. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll try to be careful. Okay. Now, the, 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 this matchmaker theme uh -huh. here. Now, have you ever done that? Have you been fixed up on a I haven't, day? no. Have and people have asked me that about the matchmaker, and I just don't really put a lot of stock in the personals and stuff because I don't really think I'm going to find my match. But also the personals, here's my kind of idea on that is beggars really can't be choosers. But then in the personals, like you'll have a typical thing like this guy will write his own thing. Good-looking, enlightened, intelligent male, professional, educated, no fatties. Like that's at the end of his thing, no fatties. <laughs> yeah, it just drives me nuts. No fatties. Who are you, man? How dare you even say no fatties, you know? Oh, you got the ones that, uh... And 
And the applause break, thank you. And of course, you have to get the ones a little more esoteric. The, the ones that always say, uh, kinky, like uh, bondage, spanking, blah, 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 blah. No smokers. No smokers, no smokers. yeah. They, that's where they draw the line. No, no smokers. Leather, leather and whiskey. Wow. Southernmost tip of Ireland. Very, very remote. Yeah. Did you, did you like it? Did you... I loved it. Yeah. I loved it, but there's a line that you'll see in the clip that is a real line that I rift, as they say in the business. Uh, <laughs> about you know being so cut off but like I, I couldn't even check my voicemail because most of the phones where we were didn't have the the tic-tac-toe board button the pound the sign pound? Yeah. and um i would have to barter with marlboro lights to get rides into town because i couldn't drive on the wrong side of the road I oh no you're it. not good at that so can't i can't yeah. do it at all so i would have to say because they love to smoke over there yeah. and i would have marlboro lights sent over and i would just hold out a pack like being in prison you know <laughs> Can I get a ride? And then I would have to go check my messages once a week at the phone that had a pound sign wow. in it. <laughs> now, how, how did you handle the Irish? Because it's a bit thick, isn't it, the Irish accent? Very thick. Yeah. And I had a Glaswegian driver. A oh, Scotch driver and Irish. Scottish driver. And so, and it would be like an hour, basically, to drive anywhere. And the whole time he talked nonstop. Never understood a word the man said. It was, hinder, hinder, the nurse, and you know, whatever they say. <laughs> and uh, I, <laughs> thank you, thanks. And I just would sit there the whole time going, mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. So that, that was basically, I'm sure he thinks I'm the dumbest person with the most inappropriate responses. Now, did you pick up any slang? Because when I was over there one time, they'd say, hey, would you like a fag? And of oh, course, that boy. means cigarette. And you go, uh -huh. oh, well, I know I'm from Hollywood, but no Right. Well, that, that... I'm not passing judgment. I'm just saying, no, thank I you. I don't want a fag. You know? Give us a fag was a big one. Give us yeah. a fag. Give us a fag. But also, the one that got me is, their, their expression for a great time is great crack. And so they would say, uh, honest to God, and they would say, oh, Janine, you're going to come out to the other place? Great crack. That's a great impression, isn't it? Why even bother with that? What? They would say, <laughs> come out with us tonight. It's going to be, you, they'd go to this pub, great crack. And so you'd sit there and be like, what? The great, are you, that you're so cavalier about the crack here. That's great. You know, be so open about the drugs. Crack we That's great. Good. Great crack. Good for you. Well, here's a clip. And this is a romantic uh, comedy. A romantic you comedy. You want to tell us what the story is about a little I, I work for a senator who's running in Massachusetts. I'm sent to Ireland to manufacture his heritage, his Irish heritage, <laughs> to appeal to the Irish American voters in Massachusetts. It's seen from the matchmaker. Take a look. <laughs> Folks, the movie is The Matchmaker, and it opens this Friday. Janine, very funny. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Stay tuned for the Ken Inventors. Little kids coming up next right after this. Don't go away. Really, you know, it's good for the circulation of the skin. Yeah, my son, you know, after using this H-plus product for a couple...